Krishna. Hari Bol. Welcome everyone. So we are going to do some Shravan. More Ketan on this series of Vandanam prayers. Hare Krishna everyone. Welcome. Please share this live with the friends and family so they may benefit from it. Hare Krishna, the background beautiful Kirtan prayers are being led by His Grace Madhava Prabhuji. And these are the famous prayers described in Chaitanya Charitamrit for protection. Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Himself recited these prayers. Hare Krishna, please join me for offering prayers to the Guru Parampara. Namo Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prasthaya Bhutale Srimate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Niti Mamine Namaste Saraswati Deve Gaurvani Pracharine Nirvishesha Shunivadi Pashyati Deshitarine Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadha Shiva Sadhi Gaur Bhakta Vinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare Hare let me see who all have joined. Hare Krishna. Let me verify if this live is visible to everyone. Hare Krishna. We have Nidhi Gupta Mataji, Tubai Saha, Suman Kelindi, Ganesh Bere, Hare Krishna, Kamal Kumar Raiji, Narmendra Gando, Sharad Tavhari, Jashi Roy, Chandrakan, Santosh Singh, Hara Prasad Padi, Jaipal Singh, Hare Krishna, Hare Bol, Saurabh Guniya, Hare Krishna dear devotees, let's get started with this beautiful topic, prayers and feelings of the pure devotees of the Lord and this is part 4 today, so dear devotees if you have missed the past uh, live in this series you can find them on this Bhagavad Gita page and also in our live, uh, in our YouTube channel, the recordings of these live so uh, if you have any problem finding them please send us a message at whatsapp get connected with us through the whatsapp link which i have provided in the description of this live program Hare krishna let me share this link very quickly at our uh, whatsapp groups Hare krishna Hare krishna 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 Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. And here we are. I'm so happy to see a small group of viewers have joined us in this live program. Mukesh Shani Ji, Ame Anil Ji, Hare Krishna, Kaisin Naapsa. Welcome everyone. So, you know, in Chaitanya Chaitanya, we read about life of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. We read about lives of the saintly souls who followed in footsteps of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. We read about how we can lovingly serve the divine couple, how we can become attracted to the holy names, how we can absorb ourselves in the beautiful sound vibrations. So now in uh, Chaitanya Charitamrit, we have these beautiful prayers. Chaitanya Charitamrit Adi Leela Chapter 8 Verse 26 I'm going to share this link in the chat box and um, you all may open up this link and follow me because these are the beautiful prayers which are being played in the background and we can all sing together Hare Krishna Please take a moment open this link and please join me to read these prayers in that link I have shared so let, let's read the background behind it 
So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who is himself walking towards Vrindavan, passing through the Jharkhand forest on the way and on the road, he is reciting these prayers. And here in this verse it's given, simply chanting Hare Krishna Maha Mantra without offenses, it vanquishes all sinful activities. Thus pure devotional service, which is the cause of love of Godhead, becomes manifest. And Srila Prabhupada explains in the purport, One cannot be situated in devotional service of the Lord unless one is free from the sinful life. And we have a famous Bhagavad Gita verse, Ye Shamtva Antagatam Papam Jnananam Punya Karmanam Te Dvandva Moha Nirmukta Bhajante Maam Vrata So, <clears throat> it is explained by this verse, what we can understand is persons who have acted piously in previous lives and this life and whose sinful actions are completely eradicated are freed from duality of delusion and they engage themselves in my service with determination. So these are words of Krishna. <clears throat> Krishna is saying to Arjun, who is qualified? who finally engages in devotional service of Krishna with determination. And these are the people who have acted piously in previous lives and in this life and whose sinful actions are completely eradicated, freed from the duality of delusion. So clearly we can understand that we need to free from the sinful, um, you know, the sinful actions and these dualities of delusion. And for that, we have to pray to the Supreme Lord for protection. And these prayers which are being played in the background, the beautiful Kirtan, these are the prayers of protection. So uh, further, the purport says, a person who is already cleansed of tinges of sinful life, engages without deviation <clears throat> or duality of purpose in the transcendental loving service of the Lord. So, in this age, although people are greatly sinful, what age is this? Please write in the comments, dear viewers, if you know what age we are living in, please mention in the comment. Let me take a look at the comments area. Sorry, Brahmaji, Hare Krishna, Nidhi Mataji. Chanting helps devotees to get rid of sinful activities of material world and gets attached to Krishna, yes. And my question to you all is, what age are we living in? Is this Satyug? Is this Treta Yug? Is it Dwapar Yug or this Kali Yug? What age is this? Yes, Nidhi Mataji mentioned this is Kali age. And in this Kali age, you know, um, there are several characteristics. It is said this is an ocean of faults. In Srimad Bhagavatam, Shukdev Goswami, after he has narrated entire Bhagavat Katha to Parikshit Maharaj, you know what he says in chapter 12? Uh, in Canto 12, uh, Canto 12, Chapter 3, there is a verse, verse 51. It says, Kaler dosha nidhe rajan asti hi eko mahan guna kirtana deva krishna sya mukta sanga param rajet. So he says, My dear king, although Kali age is an ocean of faults, there is still one good thing about this age, which we all should also know. What is the one good thing? Simply by chanting the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, one can become free from material bondage. One can severe all the knots which are binding us all to these material activities, fruitive activities, material desires. So here it says that Shukdev Goswami is mentioning to Parikshit Maharaj, simply by chanting of Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, one can become free from material bondage and be promoted to transcendental kingdom. So, what are the innumerable faults of age of Kali? What do you know about that? Please mention in the comment. I would like to see how many of you can list that. Nina Mataji, welcome. Hare Krishna, Varun Prabhuji, Hari Bol. Yes, this is Kali age. So what are the faults in this Kali age? If you know, please mention in the comments. So now in this Kali age, knowing that it is an ocean of faults, okay, there is one brilliant aspect. And we just read that. What is that brilliant aspect? Please mention in the comments, dear viewers who are watching carefully. 
what is one brilliant aspect what is one brilliant spiritual quality in this kali kali age that can destroy all the contaminations of this kali age and earlier i asked you what are those um, contaminations characteristics of this kali age if you know put it in the comments so we cannot overestimate the importance of chanting of hari krishna maha mantra especially in this age of kali hari krishna manish gandhi ji hari bol dear devotees mahesh gupta welcome everyone um, i really like to see you all are participating in the program so let's quickly uh, cover these beautiful prayers we are reading from chaitanya charitamrit adi lila chapter 8 verse 26 so here it says ek krishna name you know in this age although people are greatly sinful simply by chanting the hari krishna maha mantra can relieve them from sinful reactions ek krishna name only by chanting krishna's name is this possible anyone you know shrimad bhagavatam proves that and i gave you reference for that कीर्तना देव कृष्ण से मुक्त संग सो डियर डिवोटीज दिस वर्स इट सेज दैट सिंपली बाई चैंटिंग द हरे कृष्णा महामंत्र वन कैन बिकम फ्री फ्रॉम मेटीरियल बॉन्डेज एंड बी प्रमोटेड टू द ट्रांसडेंटल किंगडम सो वी हैव हरे कृष्णा महामंत्र वी हैव मेनी ब्यूटिफुल प्रेयर्स बाय द प्योर डिवोटीज ऑफ द लॉर्ड and yet the here is another beautiful prayer playing in the background these beautiful prayers were sung by chaitanya mahaprabhu on the road he was passing and he used to chant ram raghav ram raghav ram raghav rakshama ram raghav ram raghav ram हरे कृष्णा सो इफ वन ऑलवेज चैंड द होली नेम ऑफ कृष्णा gradually one is freed from all reactions of sinful life provided we have to care take care of one thing what is that provided he chants offenselessly and does not commit more sinful activities on the strength of the chanting of the hari krishna mantra you know we have a list of 10 offenses <clears throat> one must be careful mindful about and in this way one is purified and because of this pure devotional service <clears throat> there there is a arousal of the dormant love of god in the heart if one simply chants the ha- the hari krishna maha mantra and one does not commit sinful activities <clears throat> so if one simply chants hari krishna maha mantra and does not commit sinful activities and offenses one's life is purified and in this way one can achieve perfection of life which is engagement in the loving service of the lord prem kum artho maha hari krishna so this is how you develop sublime affection this is how you lovingly engage in devotional service of the lord with sublime affection and therefore shri chaitanya mahaprabhu has recommended <clears throat> prem kum artho mahan the highest perfection in the life is prem pure love in relationship with krishna <clears throat> let's all sing together this beautiful uh, prayers which are playing in the background and let me check your messages hari krishna Shri 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 Krishna Sh
about uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, you know, every day in Puri, after taking darshan of Sri Jagannath Deva, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he used to stop at a small uh, puja place, a shrine, which is dedicated to Lord Narsinga within the temple complex. Then, you know what he used to do? He would offer obeisances and recite these prayers again and again. Many of us are familiar with these prayers, okay? <clears throat> Namaste Narasinghaya Pralad Ladaine Hiranya Kashi Purvaksha Shilatanka Nakhalaye So Lord Garanga, he would say, I offer obeisances to you, Lord Narasinghaya Dev, the giver of the bliss to Bhakta Prahlad. With your chisel-like sharp fingernails, your bifurcated rock-hard chisel, you bifurcated hard chest, rock-hard chest of Hiranyakashipu. And then what do these prayers say further? We are all familiar with the prayers, Lord Narsingadev prayers. Ito Narsingo parito Narsingo Yato Yato Yami Tato Narsingo Bahir Narsinga Hitaye Narsinga Narsing Madim Sharanam Prapradye. So these prayers say Narsinga is here, he is there wherever I go. Lord Narsinga Dev is outside and inside my heart as well. Thus I take shelter and surrender unto that primeval Lord Narsingha. So when uh, uh, you know Lord Narsinga Dev uh, when Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he arrived at Vishakhapatna, he took darshan of the famous Thakurji named Jiyad Narsimha. After offering Dandavats, Gauranga Dev became absorbed in Prem and started singing, dancing and offering various prayers. So, these are the famous prayers I am sharing with you, dear devotees, please make a note of them. Shri Narsingha Jai Narsingha Jai Jai Narsingha Dev Praladesh Jai Padma Mukha Padma Bringa What these prayers mean is All glories to Shri Narsingha Dev All glories to Narsingha Dev The Lord of the Prahlad All glories to you who are like a honeybee Always hovering around the lotus face of Shri so in this way, you know, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself was chanting prayers to Narsingha Dev. And <clears throat> we find devotees, they are constantly praying to Lord Narsingha Dev for protection. Just like these prayers in the background, you know, this Kirtan, these prayers are being led by His Grace, Madhava Prabhuji. And these prayers, they are for protection. Devotees cry out to Krishna singing these prayers for protection of their devotional service. So, <clears throat> you know, we find in Vedas, there are many accounts of Lord Narsingha Dev protecting um, Krishna's devotees, Vishnu's bhaktas, and removing their fear and destroying their sins. It's given in Hari Bhakti Vilas uh, that Srila Sanatan Goswami recommends a couple of prayers from Kurma Puran to uh, crying out for the mercy of Powerful Lord of Protection, Sri Narhari. So, Sri Narsimha, Jai Narsimha, Jai Jai Narsimha Dev. So, in this way, these prayers are chanted by devotees, you know, to destroy sins. Uh, Pap Shaya, asking for protection. And then there are more prayers to prevent great fear. Mahabhay Nirvan. Sri Narsimha, Jai Jai Narsimha. So in this way, uh, according to our personal taste, you know, depending on where we are in our spiritual life, we can follow in the footsteps of uh, Vaishnava Charyas and we may regularly or occasionally, we may sincerely pray to the powerful and all-merciful Narsingadev Bhagwan. So then um, we can 
while offering prayers we can surround ourselves with to be fully absorbed in continuous chanting of Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. And this, Srila Prabhupada explained, this is the ultimate protection and perfection. Mahaprabhu himself has assured us that all the energies, forms and various, um, various descents, incarnations of the Lord, they are contained in this one most amazing and uh, super potent and powerful mantra and to establish the complete and unlimited position of Harinam. Uh, Srila Rupa Goswami, he states in Nectar of Devotion, I mean Bhakti Rasamrit Sindhu, you can find it there. Nam Chinta Mani Krishna Chaitanya Rasa Vikraha Purna Shuddho Nitya Mukto Abhinatvam Nama Namino What it means is Sri Krishna's holy name fulfills all desires like a wish fulfilling gem, Chintamani. The holy name is the direct form of Bhagwan Shri Krishna. Consciousness and divine raptures. So Shri Krishna's divine holy names is absolutely pure and eternally transcendental. These holy names are not the sound vibrations of this world. They are from spiritual world. So there is no difference between the beautiful, sweet, charming and divine Supreme Person Shri Krishna and His Holy Name. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. So dear devotees, meditating on these beautiful prayers and their purports, let's continue to chant the holy names. These beautiful chant in the background, let's chant with it one more time. Hare Krishna Sadiksha Mataji Jibon. We have Varun Prabhuji here. You have mentioned the Hare Krishna mantra, Maha Mantra for everyone who are not aware of it. Amitabh Ghosh Ji, Hare Krishna. Hari Se Bada Hari Ka Naam, Ram Se Bada Ram Ka Naam. Hare Krishna. Dear devotees, let's all chant together. And we have these beautiful prayers I will share again um, on the chat box. Please follow these words and chant with us with the Kirtan playing, okay? Hare Krishna. So dear devotees, before I conclude this beautiful program on Vandanam prayers, let me share with you some beautiful ways we can pray to the Supreme Lord. We can pray, O oh, adorable Lord of compassion, all glories to you, my dear Lord Krishna, my dear mother Srimati Radharani, we can cry out for inner strength to resist all kind of temptations. We can pray, we can say, please melt my false ego, which is harder than diamonds. Please help me to understand and always remember your blissful transcendental pastimes. Please engage my body, mind and words in your loving service. And that is what is the meaning of Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. O Mother Hare, O Lord Krishna. Please engage me in your transcendental loving devotional service. So in this way, you know, Supreme Lord, who is there in everyone's heart, you know, he will dispel our ignorance. He is the merciful Lord of all. And we can pray, please let me remember you always. Oh Radharaman, please fill my heart with unflinching devotion to you. May all my actions give you pleasure and may my words speak your message of divine love. And these prayers which are praying in the, which are playing in the skirtan in the background, so um, we can cry out like that for protection of our devotional service. O oh Krishna, I am nothing but yours. Please protect me and save me 
and guide me and enlighten me and accept me as your own. In this way, we can beg to be accepted. Hare Krishna. Dear devotees, before we conclude this program, I wanted to ask you all, if you feel comfortable, please write a few line of prayers in the comments box for, based on this live program on Vandanam today. All are welcome to do that. You don't need a qualification or a background, a degree, a diploma. Just an eager heart, a loving heart, wanting to be accepted, wanting to serve the divine couple can offer prayers at their lotus feet. So please go ahead and write few lines of prayers. I would love to read your prayers. Hare Krishna. Let's continue to chant some more and I'll give you a minute to write your prayers. Hare Krishna. at the lotus feet of the divine couple please go ahead and share the prayers and i would love to read out your prayers okay we have varun prabhuji so varun prabhuji writes these prayers oh supreme lord krishna please engage me in your transcendental loving service devotion service which gives all satisfaction please let me remember always your holy names in my tongue Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. That's so beautiful. Thank you so much, Varun Prabhuji. Dear devotees, we can take inspiration from the comments of Nidhi Mataji, Varun Prabhuji, and many others. Let me read your comments. Nidhi Mataji writes the prayers. O oh, merciful Lord Radharani and Krishna, please never put me in forgetfulness. Please bless my eyes to have your darshans. Bless my ears to have shravan of your holy names. Please reside in my heart. So beautiful. In this way, we can offer vandanam. That is one of the nine processes of devotional service. Who remembers what are the nine processes of devotional service? Please mention in the comments. So transcendental loving devotional service means engaging in any of the nine processes of devotional service. And if one of you can list down these Navida Bhakti processes, that would be awesome. Please mention that. That will be really helpful for some of the devotees who are slowly joining now. And Vandanam is one of them. And this live program, part four, we have done three in this series before. You can take your time and watch it and send us your feedback or comments. If it is helping you, it is helping someone you love. It can make a big difference. It can bring you closer to Krishna, this process of Vandanam. It can help us turn to Krishna. It can help us revive our sweet relationship 
with the Supreme Lord. And in remembrance of this relationship, we can engage in transcendental loving devotional service. We can come closer. We can transform. There can be a change in our heart. So dear devotees, Hare Krishna, let me check your comment and we'll sing some more this beautiful prayer. Hare Krishna. Vidhi Mataji says, Oh merciful Lord Radharani and Krishna, please never put me in forgetfulness. Please bless my eyes to have your darshans, bless my ears to have shown of your holy names and please decide in my heart. Beautiful prayers. Thank you, Mataji. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Varun Prabhuji has listed nine process of devotional service. Shavanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu, Smaranam, Archanam, Vandanam, Padisevanam, Dasyam, Sakyam, Atmanivedanam. Beautiful. So dear devotees, take your time, go over this live, short live session. If you missed from the beginning and post a small prayer in the chat box, in the comment box. It may just transform someone's life just by the sight of that. May actually water someone's faith, the seed of devotion in their heart. Hare Krishna, please join me in singing few more lines of these beautiful prayers which are playing in the background. Hare Krishna. So dear devotees, every day we have a japa call, a chanting meditation call on Zoom. It starts at 3.45 p.m. Indian Standard Time and it usually runs for 40 minutes and we may repeat it. We may have another session but we determine that um, day to day it's different but definitely we have one session every day at 3.45 p.m. All are welcome to join it. Usually there is a announcement we post on this Bhagavad Gita page. Um, however, you can join our WhatsApp group. You can uh, check out our YouTube channel. You can connect us with the Facebook and Instagram. All the information is there in the description of this live program. So we look forward to stay connected with you. Please join us every day so that together we can join and offer these prayers of Hare Krishna Mahamantra for the pleasure of the Lordship. Hare Krishna. Srila Prabhupada ki jai, Srila Bhagavad ki jai, Ananta Koti Vaishnava Vind ki jai, Hare Krishna Mahamantra ki jai, Nitai Gaur Premanandi. Hare Hare Gaur. Om Tatsa.